On club's day at Siren Private High School, two first-year students Kagami and Kuroko joined basketball club. When the club's coach Rico witnesses Kuroko's club joining requests, she remains stunned to know the member of the great generation of miracles joined them. Generation of Miracles was the basketball team of Teiko Middle School, with five prodigies that stand out all over Japan. However, there was one more member recognized by the five prodigies, the Phantom Six Kuroko. After the first year's joining, Rico examines their bodies in order to analyze their physical strength, the ability she learned from his coach father. Rico is quite impressed with Kagami's physical strength and ability, but when it comes to analyzing Kuroko, the Phantom Six Man, she falls into profound sorrow since the well-respected member of Generation of Miracles demonstrates below-average strength. At night, when Kagami is practicing on the ground, Kuroko approaches and challenges him for the game. Kagami, with a desire to see the capability of Generation of Miracles, agrees, but as soon as the game begins, it reveals that Kuroko sucks at basketball. After witnessing Kuroko's game, Kagami advises him to leave basketball, but Kuroko denies saying he is a shadow in the game. On a coming day, Rico organizes a practice match between second-year and first-year students. The game begins with Kagami aggressively scoring while Kuroko continues performing badly. Other players also look down at Kuroko's game. But as the game continues, the captain of the team, Imeyoshi, notices a strange pass. Kuroko, the invisible man of Generation of Miracles, excels in passing the ball and uses his weak presence to misdirect the opponent. With Kagami's great strength and Kuroko's excellent passing skills, the game ends in the first year's favor. After school, Kagami encounters Kuroko again, where Kagami reveals his aim to beat each member of Generation of Miracles and become the best player in Japan. But Kuroko believes that he is not strong enough for that. However, he promises Kagami to help him be the best player by becoming his shadow in the game. During Monday morning assembly on the school roof, the coach gives the first-year students an entrance exam to demonstrate their dedication to winning the national championships. But before Kuroko has a chance to speak, a teacher interrupts them. However, he later writes his dedication in chalk on the ground to be the best in Japan. Later on, Kagami inquires Kuroko to know why, like other generations of miracles, he didn't join a strong school. But Kuroko explains that he joined the Siren team because he didn't agree with Teiko's winning his everything attitude and their lack of teamwork. The following day, Riko announced a practice game that she arranged with Kiza, a member of the Generation of Miracles, against the strong team of Kaijo School. However, Kiza surprisingly visits Siren and offers his old friend Kuroko to come and join his team, but Kuroko politely rejects the offer. Seeing Kiza in the school, Kagami's will to defeat the members of Generation of Miracles pops up, and he gives Kiza a one-on-one -on -one challenge. The game begins, but in the blink of an eye, Kiza defeats him by employing his specific skill of copying and amplifying the moves of other players. Siren basketball team reaches Kaijo's school for the practice match. Kaijo's coach, Genta, informs Riko that they are going to use half of the court since the match with Siren will be of no benefit to their players, much to Riko's dismay. As Genta underestimates Siren, he also doesn't allow Kiza to play with a weak team and waste his energy. The practice between Siren and Kaijo begins with the ball in the Kaijo player's hand, but before the Kaijo player even knows, Kuroko with his skillful pass takes the ball from him. He brings the ball near the goal, but when Kaijo's players find him extremely slow and intend to take the ball from him, Kuroko by throwing the ball backward, passes it to Kagami, who then makes the goal in his full thrush. The first Siren goal makes Genta and Kaijo sweat, forcing them to consider Siren seriously and letting them use the whole court for the game. Kiza also gets some entry in the game, which makes Kagami excited to play against the Generation of Miracles. With Kiza in the team, the game takes another turn when he uses Generation of Miracles' exceptional moves to make the first goal for Kaijo. But his charm stands not alone with Kuroko in the field. Kuroko keeps on passing crazily to Kagami, and their duo makes opponents sweat. Seren gives a tough time to the school that always leaves the ground by scoring triples against the opponent. When Kagami is about to dump the ball with his fadeaway moves, Kize steals it from him and mimics his move to goal for his team. At that point, Kagami realizes the real power of the copycat of Generation of Miracles. However, the game makes players tired and Kuroko pledges captain to have a timeout. During the timeout, Kize and Kuroko reveal each other weaknesses to their teams. However, Kuroko also reveals his weakness, which is his effectiveness wears off after 40 minutes of the game because of high-paced moves. Thus, to keep his moves effective, he needs to take a rest in the middle quarters, which may affect score rates. After the timeout, the game resumes, but this time, Kaijo does not give Kuroko a chance to pass the ball, which means his effectiveness already starts to go away. Kize mocks Kagami and Siren for not doing anything after Kuroko's moves caught up by Kaijo. But Kagami smirks, saying Kuroko is Kise's weakness. 
Kize can copy anybody's moves but cannot mimic Kuroko, which makes him fear the invisible man of Generation of Miracles Kuroko. As the first quarter comes to a close with Kajo leading, the game's momentum shifts in favor of Saren once Kagami and Kuroko start coordinating their plays. Everything goes smoothly for Saren until Kize accidentally hits Kuroko and knocks him out of the game. Shinji enters the court in place of Kuroko, but at the end of the fourth quarter, Saren still hasn't caught up. When the score gap between Saren and Kaijo widens, Kuroko returns to the game in spite of being injured. Kuroko keeps passing the ball with his misdirection moves even if his unintended break from the game has changed Kaijo's perception of him. Thus, the game continues with Hyuga making a shot and tying the game with Kaijo at 82. After being briefly stunned by the result, Hiza starts to giggle to himself and picks up speed, easily overtaking Kuroko and dodging his attempt to steal the ball in order to dump the ball and break the tie. He says again that he won't lose to anyone, not even Kuroko, and appears to be taking things more seriously. Up until there are fewer than 10 seconds left in the game, and the two sides keep exchanging points quickly. However, Kuroko still has one more move that Kize can't copy, but it will only be effective once. Meantime, Kaijo tries to score and Hugo races to stop him, but his legs are too tired to react. As Kagami and Kuroko run to the other basket, Kagami manages to hit the ball out of the way and Hyuga catches it and throws it across the court. With two seconds left in the game, Kuroko throws the ball and Kagami jumps to make an alley-oop. Despite the fact that Kiza jumps to block Kagami's throw, he begins falling before Kagami, resulting in Kagami's throw going smoothly. With Kize in despair and shock, the game ends with Saren winning the match with a score of 100-98. Kize's defeat shocks him to the extent that he begins crying unintentionally. After the match, the top shooter of the great generation of miracles, Midorima, arrives and scolds Kize for losing. Midorima came all the way to watch his old fellas Kize and Kuroko's match because of his own reasons. The match ends, but now Saren's are hungry, so they go to a steakhouse to celebrate their victory. After having a delightful meal, Kuroko encounters Kize again, who asks Kuroko about his purpose of leaving the Generation of Miracles in middle school. Kuroko responds that he disliked basketball at the time because of the mentality of winning and not caring about teamwork. However, Kize tries to manipulate Kuroko by saying Kagami's strength will eventually reach the Generation of Miracles level, and he will then leave Kuroko. But while Kize is saying this, Kagami overhears him and later confirms to Kuroko that he has no intentions to do so. When the boys are talking, Kuroko witnesses some thugs abusing children playing basketball. He steps in to stop them, but when the thugs overnumber Kuroko, Kize, and Kagami join him, and they end up brutally defeating the thugs in no time. On a coming day, Siren discovers that they will compete against Shotoku, who is holding a member of the Generation of Miracles in the Inter-High Preliminary Finals. However, Shinkyo Academy, which has a foreign player who is even taller than Kagami, will be their opponent in their opening game. In order to prepare themselves, Kuroko engages in intense exercise while Kagami practices man-to-man -man defense with his senior Mitoba. The competition day arrives and the game with Shinkyo begins with Kagami making a promise to Papa that he will block one of his shots and that Kuroko will give him a hard time for calling him a child. With the game going on, Siren leads by 8-23 at the end of the first quarter. Until now, Kuroko used much of his energy, so in order to save his strength, he is substituted out, leaving Kagami to handle Papa by himself. Papa gives Kagami a difficult time, but Kagami keeps on improving with every shot, and Siren stays ahead by a narrow margin of the score 51 to 60, with five minutes remaining in the final frame. Kuroko also restores his energy and goes on the court again to surprise his opponent. During the game, Papa does not let Kagami gunk a ball, but soon Papa's shot is blocked by Kagami, and Siren wins 67 to 79. The victory brings Siren enough confidence to defeat their other opponent. But when Saren begins to overestimate themselves, Riko takes them to attend the game of Midorima's team of Shotoku School. The game starts and ends in a blink of an eye with Midorima, the best shooter of Generation of Miracles, exhibiting great moves. Shotoku ends the game winning by tripling the score against its opponent by 153 to 21. After realizing Midorima's capabilities, Saren learns that Seiho will play in the semifinal and Shotoku will play in the championship game on the same day putting them against two of the three king teams of the members of the Generation of Miracles. Siren's upcoming game is against Siho, a team with a reputation for the defense who destroyed Siren the last year and nearly pushed them to give up basketball. But this time, Siren has Kagami and Kuroko, giving them a chance to stand in front of Siho. Also, Kuroko is committed on helping the seniors by winning the game and restoring their reputation. When Kagami is wondering about the strength of Tomoki of Siho, Kuroko informs him that Tomoki was the player who even stopped Kize in middle school, much to Kagami's shock. 
The game against Siho begins with Siho's every member exhibiting a unique playing style. In the first quarter, Siren does not stand anywhere and in the quarter break, Riko informs Siren that Siho uses ancient martial art movement techniques which give their body immense flexibility. Still, Kagami does not lose winning hope and finally gets the opening basket after outracing Kasuga with speed. During the after game, Kagami continuously receives fouls, and with the third quarter score nodding 19 to 19, Kagami receives another foul, causing Siho to mock him. Together, Koroko and Kagami successfully breached Siho's defense once more, but they are quickly drained of energy. After Kagami receives the fourth foul, Captain decides to put him and Koroko out of the team for a while, just to make them relax and restore their energy. In the meantime, seniors take over the court and showcase their potential. Using their specialties such as Izuki's Eagle Eye, the seniors are able to compete. However, with less than 5 minutes remaining in the game and Siho leading 58-64, Kobane suffers a minor injury. In the member change, Kagami wishes to play but Captain forbids him because of having 4 fouls and sends Kuroko back into the game to avenge Kagami's anger toward Tomoki. Kuroko comes back into the game with a new thrill and easily overcomes Tomoki's guard, while the seniors also breach Siho's defense by anticipating their usual actions. Meantime, Kagami, having never witnessed Kuroko in the court, gets impressed by Kuroko's passing from the sidelines. Siren gets close to Siho and has to make one score in the final 30 seconds of the game, but Siho scores a dunk and tightens their defense. But it does not let Siren take much time to finally defeat Siho as Kuroko narrowly avoids an interception and passes to Huga, who scores the winning goal. The game ends with Saren finally winning against one of the strongest teams. However, Siren's next match is against Midorima's team, with both teams willing to defeat each other. The game starts with Kuroko passing the ball to Kagami and thinking of dunking with an alley -oak. but Midorima steals the ball at the right time. The situation gets critical with the belief that whoever takes the first bucket will control the first quarter. The ball reaches Midorima, and he scores the opening goal with a three-pointer, but Kuroko responds unexpectedly by dishing the ball to Kagami, who dunks it in for the score, much to Midorima's dismay. Kuroko does not intend to let Midorima take the first quarter easily. As Midorima is silenced, the other members of Shotoku quicken their speed. Takao uses his hawk eye, which is like Izuki's eagle eye, but has a broader field of view to intercept Kuroko. It reveals that Takao has the same passing skills as Kuroko, causing Kuroko's every pass to be useless. In order to prevent Kuroko from shutting down, Siren requests a timeout and chooses to keep Kuroko in the match. After the timeout, Hyuga, due to his experience striking under stress, makes important shots. But no matter how much Siren struggles against Midorima, he takes a shoot from a long distance, even from the center line producing one-man alley whoop and earning three points. Midorima strikes back once more, this time making a shot from the opposite end of the court to demonstrate the unlimited range of his shots. With Midorima's three-pointer score, Shutoku eventually wins the first quarter. Throughout the entire second quarter, Midorima is given the liberty to take every shot, increasing Shutoku's advantage to raise the score gap. During this time, Kuroko keeps on struggling while passing since Takao always looks through his passes and stops them. As the game progress, Kagami fails to stop Midorima and Kuroko seems to be shut down. Shutoku maintains the lead even at the end of the second quarter. The third quarter begins with Kuroko on the sidelines and Kagami just about gets to touch one of Midorima's shots. The following time in the game, Kagami overcomes Takao's screen and touches the ball once again as Midorima attempts a long shot. Kagami's interference in Midorima's shot affects the ball direction, but before the shot gets missed, Utsubo of Shutoku smashes in the rebound and restores the goal. Kagami keeps on struggling to stop Midorima's shot and finally, at the next shot, he successfully blocks it with his incredible jumping ability. After that, he keeps on scoring multiple goals with the mentality to win the game even at the cost of playing alone and sacrificing teamwork. But soon, Kagami's jumping for long exhausts his body, and he won't jump anymore, but still he is determined to win without Kuroko's help. After the third quarter in the timeout, when Kagami wishes to score alone, declaring they don't need team plays, Kuroko steps in and punches his face. Enraged, Kagami punches Kuroko back, but Kuroko wants Kagami to understand the meaning of winning, which is not playing alone and being happy with the team. Kuroko keeps on saying that the reason he left Generation of Miracles was the mentality of playing alone, and this is what Kagami is also doing now despite the fact that he wishes to beat each member of Generation of Miracles. Kuroko's words make Kagami realize his fault and he goes back on the field to play alongside Kuroko and other team members. The fourth quarter starts, and as Riko advised, Kagami with only two high jumps left, uses the first jump to block Midorima as a bluff at the start of the fourth quarter. 
Kurioka was also back on the court with a scheme in his mind to overcome Takao's plays. He utilizes Takao's misdirection to draw his focus to himself before refocusing Takao's vision and slipping away. Then Kuroko throws a quick pass that only Kagami can receive and Kagami uses one of his remaining hops to dunk past Midorima. At this rate, Shotoku calls a timeout with less than 3 minutes remaining in the game and a narrow advantage of 2 points over their opponent. Their coach sees through Kagami's limitations and advises the team to let Midorima take the shots. However, Saren anticipated this when the score is locked until Midorima scores a 3 with 30 seconds left and Hyuga responds with a 3. At this point, Saren believes that they have won the game but Shotoku does not plan to waste even a second and immediately passes to Midorima. Midorima goes for his 3-point shot, but when he jumps, Kagami by surpassing his limits jumps again, however, Midorima knows that Kagami would overcome his limits and fake the shot, just to retake the final one and win it. But it does not end here because Kuroko also believes in Kagami, and when Midorima intends to go for the retake, he steals the ball and brings ultimate victory for his team. For the first time, Siren wins against the great shooter of the Generation of Miracles. Later, while still outside in the rain, Midorima receives a call from Almina, another member of the Generation of Miracles, cautioning him to be careful during the championship game. After the fierce games against the Kings, the players are worn out and unable to move. A little rest will help them regain their stamina and energy, but Kagami cannot even stand as he had pushed himself too hard before. As they cannot stay there forever, the team decides to rest in the nearby restaurant. However, someone has to carry Kagami, so they let the rock, paper, scissor decide his fate. Soon they arrive at a restaurant where Kize and Kasamatsu are already eating their meal. Kuroko and Kagami sit with them, but the situation gets more awkward when Midorima and Takao arrive at the restaurant and join them. During their conversation, Kiza challenges Kuroko and Kagami that he will get his revenge at the Inter High Tournament. Bigorima also warns Kagami that they will face another member of the Generation of Miracles named Amine in the upcoming Championship League. Kuroko claims he is strong, but he does not like his basketball style. Later, as the team is about to leave, Kuroko finds a cute abandoned dog near the restaurant. As the dog appears to have the same eyes as Kuroko, the team names him as Tetsuya No. 2. While this is happening, Kagami appears to be hiding as he fears dogs. The following day, the team continues to practice, but Kagami is allowed to jump until his legs heal. While the team is training in the swimming pool, Momoi arrives there and introduces herself as Kuroko's girlfriend, making everyone jealous of him. Not only Riko is jealous of Momoi's beauty, but Tetsuya No. 2 also dislikes her. In the meantime, Kagami secretly practices his shots outside, but soon he encounters Amine, who challenges him for a quick match. Despite his injuries, Kagami accepts his challenge, but soon realizes the difference in their skills. Amina returns to the school club where his teammate Wakamatsu is mad at him for skipping the practice for no reason. Amina, however, does not take him seriously and tries to leave. When Wakamatsu stops him once more, Amina becomes enraged and kicks him in the stomach before destroying the basketball hoop. The captain, Shuchi Imatoshi, warns Wakamatsu that even he is not wrong, still he should refrain from interfering with Amina because he is a very powerful monster with unfair abilities. Meanwhile, Riko and the team receive the names of all the schools appearing in the Championship League and learns Saren's school will be competing against Amina's school, Toho Academy, for their first match. Later, Kagami tells Kuroko about his encounter with Amine and asks what happened between them in middle school. Kuroko then reveals that none of the generations of miracles started off as extraordinary players, but Amine was an exception and blew sooner than the rest of his teammates. He continued to become strong, and eventually the time came when Amine became unstoppable. After that, he started to skip practice and took basketball easier but remained unstoppable. His opponents gave up against him before even trying, making Amina realize that the only one who can beat him is he himself. Kagami is pissed off by all members of the Generation of Miracles and decides to destroy everyone with the help of Kuroko. The players continue to practice while everyone waits for the game that will shake the Championship League. However, as the day arrives when Saren will face To'o, Amine being full of himself is absent from the match as he oversleeps in the school and decides to join in the second half. When Kagami gets to know about Amine's absence, he gets mad but Kuroko thinks they should score as much as possible when they have the chance. However, as the match begins, To'o instantly gets the ball with their incredibly fast movements and score a quick three, claiming even though Amine is not here, they are still stronger. The game goes on, but Siren is unable to stop their opponent's shots, which creates a six-point gap at the beginning. Furihata observes that Toho has been scoring over 100 points in each game of the preliminary tournament and realizes that they are playing against an offensive team. On the other hand, as the team realizes, Toho playing style is one-on-one, -on -one, which means they don't coordinate with their team members and only play with their individual skills. 
Siren decides to destroy them with their complete team play style. Soon they begin to coordinate more with each other allowing them to score some points. But it all appears to be going as Momoi had predicted. It is revealed Momoi is not just a manager but a very intelligent agent and information gathering specialist. Because not only she knows how a player has been playing in the past, but she also knows how he will grow and make new moves. However, despite all her knowledge, she is unable to read Kuroko's movements which makes it a plus point for Saren to close their gap. Toa leads with 4 points as the first quarter ends. As the match continues, Kuroko and Kageami score again with their quick attack. But because of his huge jumps, Kageami starts to feel pain in his legs. Riko realizing Kageami is injured, substitutes him off the court and tapes his legs. With Kagami's absence, Siren loses 10 more points while Ominous suddenly arrives before the second quarter's end and challenges Kagami again. After Ominous joins the game, Siren changes its formation and covers their opponents with the isolation technique, which allows the special players to move freely, while the remaining players gather on one side. Using this method, Kagami goes up one-on-one -on -one against Ominous and tries to stop him. Ominous, on the other hand, only smirks and gets away from Kagami with his intense speed. But just as he is about to make a dunk, Kagami suddenly jumps from behind and stops him, shocking everyone with his fast movements. As soon as Kuroko receives the ball, he passes it to Kagami using his Igmite pass technique, but before Kagami can score, Amina suddenly emerges and thwarts his attempt. The second quarter ends with Toa leading with 10 points, but everyone is shocked by Amina's ridiculously fast speed. However, in reality, Amina has not shown his full speed yet. During the break, as Kuroko has played the whole first half, Riko decides to take him out for some time so he can regain his effectiveness. Kuroko, on the other hand, is persistent on playing the remaining second half to beat Amina. Riko understands, but still, they need him to rest for the third quarter. Before the third quarter starts, Amina has properly warmed up his body, but Kuroko has to sit on the bench, making the situation a lot more difficult for Saren. As Amina receives the ball, Kagami opposes him again but still cannot keep up against his amazing speed, allowing him to score two points. Everyone is shocked by Amina's skills, but it does not end there. The next time when Amina receives the ball, he decides to reveal his true style and begins to display some unconventional tricky movements. Kagami tries to stop him but cannot do against Amina's street ball moves. Amina continues to charge and even avoids three blocks to score two points from behind the basket. Watching Amine has become an unstoppable player, Momoi remembers how he used to play on the street with adults using his natural speed and free-spirited style. On the other hand, Siren continues to struggle defensively while also scoring against Amine, no matter how higher Kagami jumps. Amine gets tired of his weak opponents and challenges Kuroko to come onto the field and face him. As Kuroko joins the game, he makes a full-court pass allowing Kagami to run for a score. However, as Amine closes in on him, Kagami passes the ball to Hyuga who easily scores a 3. With Kuroko's presence, everything seems to be returning to normal, but being his previous teammate, Amine easily captures his Ignite pass and instantly rushes to score. Amine passes through 5 players alone and makes a dynamic dunk at the end. The struggle continues, but Kagami is unable to keep going due to his leg injury, forcing him to sit on the bench. Siren tries again and again, but they are unable to defeat Toho and lose by more than 50 points. After defeating Siren, Toho celebrates their first success. But when one of the members insults Kuroko and his abilities, Amine gets mad at them. On the other hand, Riko tries to motivate the team for their upcoming matches, but the team appears to be dull due to their last defeat. Kagami sits out the final two games and Kuroko eventually goes through a slump, resulting in them losing both games and the competition. After the matches, Riko messages a person named Kiyoshi, who appears to be a member of the Saren basketball team, and apologizes for their defeat. Kiyoshi, however, encourages her that it's not over yet. Meanwhile, because of his leg injuries, Kageyami is instructed to rest for two weeks. Even though Kageyami did not train for two weeks, he still could not forget how Amina destroyed them. On the other hand, the team continues to train, but Kuroko is depressed and cannot play with concentration. Later, Riko informs everyone that even though they have lost the Inter High Championship, they still have a chance to win the upcoming Winter Cup. She also reveals that Kiyoshi will be joining them soon. One week later, Kageyami and Kiyoshi rejoin the team in training. Kiyoshi introduces himself as the former ace and Siren basketball team founder. However, he has been in the hospital because of his surgery and rehab. Soon the team begins their training, but Kagami plays with anger, does not rely on anyone, and plays basketball by himself. Watching Kagami, an aggressive player, Kiyoshi challenges him a one-on-one -on -one game for the starting position. Meanwhile, when Takao asks Atsubo about Siren's number 7, he reveals Kiyoshi was Siren's center last year and the team used to revolve him while Hyuga cooperate inside and outside play. 
Moreover, if he had been at the Inter High Championship, they would have never lost. On the other hand, as their practice match begins, Kiyoshi surprises Kagami with his fast speed, even though he is bigger than him. However, as he is about to score, Kagami jumps higher and stops his attempt, surprising Kiyoshi. Even though Kiyoshi has worn out, but still he is evenly matched with Kagami, but the match ends with Kagami winning the game. Kiyoshi keeps his promise and allows him to start in the upcoming matches. After Kagami leaves, everyone is mad at Kiyoshi, but he admits that Kagami is strong, and it is the best he can do now. However, it is revealed that Kiyoshi is so stupid and can do a lot better than this as he has forgotten to change his indoor shoes. The following day, the Siren team plays a practice match against Tokushin School in which all first-year students participate rather than Kiyoshi and Hyuga. Because Kiyoshi insists on watching the first year's play as he wants to see Kuroko's movements and how he coordinates with Kagami to win the game. However, even though Kuroko does not coordinate with Kagami in the entire game, Siren still manages to win. Later that night, Kuroko approaches Hyuga and requests him to replace him with Kiyoshi as their starter. Hyuga, however, gets mad at him and makes him realize that he is an important part of their team. Moreover, Kagami is also working hard to get stronger so he can utilize Kuroko's strength to its fullest extent. Kuroko then rushes to Kagami where they make a summertime commitment to improve themselves for the upcoming Winter Cup. The following day, Riko and Hyuga decide to take a training trip to the beach and mountain in the summer vacation, as the qualifiers of the Winter Cup start shortly after summer vacation ends. When Riko leaves to get permission from the teachers, Hyuga gathers everyone and warns them that their upcoming trip will be extremely dangerous because Riko will be cooking for them. Soon Riko makes curry for the team, which tastes disgusting. However, she tries again and prepares a delicious curry with Kagami's assistance. Afterward, the team arrives at the beach for their training camp, where Riko's father scares everyone and warns them not to touch his daughter if they want to survive. At the training camp, the team is instructed to pass the ball while playing on the sand. Soon as the players train inside the court, they all get shocked to feel the huge improvements in their bodies and movements. The following day, Kagami and Kuroko encounter Midorima and Takao, revealing that Shutoko School has also arrived there to train for Winter Championship. Watching the great opportunity, the coaches of both teams decide to train together. While everyone continues to train, Riko instructs Kagami to buy drinks for everyone, but you must run outside on the beach and buy one at a time. As Kagami begins to run outside, Shutoko's coach, Masaki, realizes Riko's genius mind that running on the beach will help Kagami to improve his jumping ability. During the training camp, Siren loses all three out of three games from Shutoko, but they were evenly matched even without Kagami's presence, which cautions Coach Masaki that they should be careful for the winters. To relax muscles and fatigue, Riko introduces her special icing technique while Kiyoshi encourages everyone that they are all strong. Later that night, when Kagami meets Riko, he snaps at her since he has been running on the beach the entire time. However, Riko instructs him to try jumping, claiming he has not seen his development. While passing through Takao witnesses, Kagami can jump higher than the hoop. He gets shocked when Kagami jumps higher and hits the basketball hoop with his left hand. Soon Kuroko gets there but watching Midorima, Takao hides him and waits for Midorima to talk to Kagami. As Midorima watches Kagami's jumps on the hoop, he does not get surprised but insults him for only thinking that he can only jump to score the points. He says jumping high is only half the answer but not a weapon yet. He abruptly challenges Kagami to play 10 offensive tries while he is on defense, and if Kagami is able to score only once, he will be victorious. Kagami gets mad and accepts his challenge. However, at each time Kagami attempts to jump high where he only has the ability to dunk, Midorima easily blocks him. Kagami understands that, in order to defeat the Generation of Miracles, he must train his whole body rather than only his right hand. Here in Kagami, Kuroko decides to develop his new basketball style by mastering his own drive in addition to his passes. The training camp ends the following day, but before the team can return to the train station, Riko decides to watch the quarterfinals between Kaijo and Toho in short Kize versus Amine. Siren team arrives at the Inter High Tournament, while Kize and Amine are also ready to crush each other. The match begins with Kaijo getting the ball. Kize tries to pass through Amine, but Amine easily breaks his attack, allowing his team to steal the ball and Sakura to score three points. However, when Kize again receives the ball, he copies Sakurai's quick shot, but gets interrupted by Amine. Imeyoshi receives the ball, but before he can score, Kasumatsu suddenly steals the ball and scores a three, regaining the control of game. As Amine receives the ball, he tries to pass Kize with his amazing speed. But Kize not only sees through his moves, but also stops Amine's formless shot. The match continues, and the first quarter ends with Keijo leading with five points. Everyone gets surprised to see Amine losing to Kiza, even Kiyoshi asks how Siren defeated Kaijo before. 
During the second quarter, Toa begins to catch up with Kaijo and soon with the help of Almina's insane abilities, they manage to tie the scores. Kaijo takes timeout in which Kise asks his coach permission to use his trump card. After the timeout when Kize receives the ball, instead of charging, he passes it to his teammate and concentrates on his trump card. Meanwhile, Toa steals the ball, allowing Almina to charge. However, as he is about to make a dunk, he accidentally hits Kasamatsu and makes a foul. Meanwhile, Kize's trump card is to copy Almina's style, admitting that his respect for the former has prevented him from doing so before, but now this is the only way they win against him. While Kize is trying to copy Almina perfectly, Toa makes the lead of 9 points. In the third quarter, although Kize needs to perfect Almina's style but he starts to show it off and scores a few points, when Kize encounters Almina, he perfectly uses Almina's movements and passes through him easily. However, as he is about to score, Almina interrupts him, but unintentionally makes his fourth foul. Even with his fourth foul, Almina continues to play more aggressively while Kize starts copying all his shots again and again. However, Toho is still in the lead with 10 points in the last minute of the match. Kize takes the ball and tries to outsmart Almina by passing the ball to Kasamatsu, but Almina sees through his move and blocks his shot. The match comes to an end when Almine makes a dunk and defeats Kize with 12 points. After seeing such fierce game, Kagami and Kuroko get motivated enough to perfect their basketball style. The end. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more amazing recaps.